I think we're live, Mama. I think we are. Well, hello there, Coffee Town friends. Welcome to Coffee Town with John and Mama. I'm John, and this is Mama. And uh, <laughs> we're going to fix up a little Southern Sunday luncheon today. Now, this is not anything that y'all haven't seen us do before. Mama, we've got the cornbread from last night, and I had this half a head of cabbage. And to be honest with you, Mama thought she was wanting to have salad. Her and the preacher's wife and, and her mother was talking at church. So they was having salad. Mama said, you know, I'd like to have a good salad. And I said, Mama, we better go to the store and buy uh, some lettuce. And she said, no, there's lettuce in there. Well, I just got two or three heads of cabbage. Two or three <laughs> heads of cabbage. And no lettuce. Zero oh. lettuce. Zero lettuce. You were right. I hate to admit it. You hate to admit it, Mama, that I was. I really didn't know that I was right. I just thought, I don't remember us having any lettuce. I didn't buy none the other day when I went to the store. And I hadn't been. <laughs> And I thought, well, we may have some she don't know about, or I don't know about. But, so we were going to have salad. We were going to start the new year off with salad. But instead of salad, we're going to start the new year off with some fish. And coleslaw. And not healthy fish either. Mm -hmm. This is some I got from Swan's, and it uh, is breaded. And it's not thick breaded. Though. Not thick breaded. It'll be all right. But anyway, get rid of that core. Just that core jump on my shirt. Get rid of that core. You don't want that. I'm making some coleslaw. We're going to have coleslaw, some pre-made fish, some pre-made hush puppies, and some tater tots. Now, how southern is that? Easy. It was what Mama went in the freezer, and that's what was on top. And she said, here's what we're having. I said, yes, ma'am. And she said, you make some coleslaw. So I've got my chores. i got my chore board. You know, folks, life is real. And sometimes you just have to fix what you got. Make two. Make two. You know, you buy those frozen things just so you'll have them in case you need them. Or we do. We'll buy something. We'll, we'll fix this little dinner. And if we and need hurry. something in a hurry, we'll have it. Well, today's in a hurry. Because it's already 1.32 and we've not even... Well, Mama's got the fish in and she's got the hush puppies and that in there. A one pan dinner. <laughs> a one pan wonder dinner. And I'm making this coleslaw. So the coleslaw is going to be fresh slaw and all that and y'all see me make slaw all kinds of times but that's what we're having today and that's what we got so this is just red wine vinegar and i'm gonna put just enough in here just enough. and then just enough is probably a good heaping tablespoon maybe a little better than but it's just that bottom of that bowl right there you can see and i'm gonna put a little bit of sugar we are trying to do better on sugar but um uh, you gotta have just a little bit of sugar in your slaw. So I'm just gonna put, this is about a teaspoon. I'm, usually I put two big tablespoons. So today I'm gonna put two big teaspoons. And, well, maybe three big teaspoons. Cause that's a little, <laughs> struggle's real. Monday, we'll start the new year. This, the weekend don't count. When the weekend, when the new year comes in on the weekend, it shouldn't count. You don't start counting until Monday if you're trying to do it's better. It's like any diet plan. You start on Monday. But now, Mom and I have been doing better uh, for weeks, ever since she went to the doctor, and the doctor put her on house arrest, basically. I don't think that was called house arrest. Mom, it was pretty serious. She said, you're going to have to straighten up, or I'll be sending a whole lot more to you. Ain't that what she said? I don't know if it was her exact word. <laughs> Mama has been an ostrich. It, you know, her her sugar level. I'm going to leave if you're going to talk about me. <laughs> her sugar level has been elevated. And they've been telling her, you know, watch it. Well, she's been drinking her regular Cokes and her regular Sprites. And I've been telling her, but I'm not one to preach because I need to do better myself. But uh, I don't, I've not been diagnosed with anything yet. So, you know, but I know I need to do better. They always tell me, John, on paper you look good. And I say, how do I look in person? When I do my lab work and stuff, like, on paper you look great. And I'm like, thank the Lord. But anyway, we've been trying to do better for a couple of three weeks now, four weeks. Probably, Mom. Yeah. And um, we have done. We have done better. Now I'm putting baby carrots in here. Just Y'all can't see nothing I'm doing. Let's see what y'all are saying. Hello, Cheryl. 
New Hampshire. Hey, Cheryl, how's the weather up there? Folks, it is 52 degrees here today. It's acted more and more like January 2. Uh, it's supposed, we're supposed to get some snow. I kid you not. 71 degrees when we've done 5 o'clock something yesterday. 52 right now, and it's supposed to be some snow a-coming. And y'all know, in the south, when something is a-coming, it's big. I don't know how big it's supposed to be. Somebody said three, four, five inches. That's pretty good for us. You northerners are probably laughing. But when we get like, you know, if it's over an inch of snow, we can't drive. We're sliding all over the place. We don't know what we're doing. Because really, there have been winters here that we didn't even get snow. And so when we get any, it's, you know. Now, we got four-wheel drives and all that. We have chains. We are a little bit pre more prepared than the folks way down south. And uh, we have four-wheel or all-wheel drive vehicles, so we can get out and about if we need to. But uh, it's hard to believe it. It's 70 degrees. Flowers are putting out. The grass is green. Little buds popping out everywhere. And now it may snow. The kids at church this morning, well, the teachers at church this morning. <laughs> yeah, the teachers this morning. We're saying, you think we'll get out? You think, think it'll snow and we'll get out of school? This is going to be a little bit of a noise. Y'all know how that works. So. That was a lot of noise. I'm sorry. That's Golly. Good. It's loud. Much quieter once you get it all chopped down. Sorry about that. Okay. So now my sugar, a little bit of sugar, has dissolved in my vinegar and I'm going to use just a little bit of mayonnaise in here and this will work up pretty quick and easy and what you're doing basically just making a dressing and let me just tell you if you're interested in dressings and homemade dressings this is the base for many of them do I need any spices for you? Um, if you want to put a little nature seasoning in it mama which we used to but I'd almost quit putting it in here well, well, Go ahead and get some right there. It's in that cabinet. Putting a little bit of coarse ground black paper. This is just table ground. And that'll be just a little bit of flavoring in there. I've always used nature season in my slaw, but this has got a little bit of stuff. We have used some this weekend while we're on vacation from dieting. <laughs> and this has salt in it, black pepper. It does have a little bit of sugar in it. It does have some spices in it. Natural onion flavor. Natural garlic flavor. Parsley, celery seed. It's got a lot of stuff in it. It's got the whole garden in it. Well, it's got the whole garlic garden, garden in, in it. it. You know, I really didn't realize this had garlic powder in it, but I've used it, but maybe it ain't powder. I don't smell garlic in it, so maybe it's just enough not to hurt Doesn't me. Doesn't affect you. So I put just a little bit of nature seasoning in this. And then this is the basis for many, many dressings. I can take this base and make ranch. I can make honey mustard. I can make a lot of dressings with it. This bowl is it, it's making a noise. I apologize. Maggie said Happy New Year. Uh, is that what she said? I believe she said, I think somebody's out in the driveway and I'm going to check it out. Now, did she run to the door? I told you all the other day, I'll tell you about Maggie's day. And then I got to talking, and we got to New Year, and, and uh, we did the countdown, I didn't tell you about Maggie's day. So, Maggie is on a, um, had been on a very regular schedule of grooming. And y'all know she's mean as the devil. When she gets to grip. She's the sweetest, most lovable little dog. She never gets in trouble. She almost understands every word you say. She really is a great dog. Until. Until. You start to groom her. And then she has to wear a muzzle. The, it's real. I mean, she has her own muzzle. Because she'll bite you. And she, yeah, she don't care. But, um, so, her groomer had been ill and not able to groom for a while. So Maggie missed not one, but two groomings. And she was getting pretty shaggy doubt. So I had a set of clippers. 
And I told Mama, I said, I think we could groom her. Mama said, she bite you? I said, Mama, surely not. And she said, mm. well, she tried. Six, eight, maybe 12 times. But I had to put the group, the muzzle on her. But anyhow, I've got her groomed down. Got her all. I had, we had, years ago, we had another schnauzer named Sierra. And I had groomed her all the time, just about it. But, um, so she had to have all that haircut. So we groomed her down. But she's got sweaters. And one of y'all made her a sweater. And I will show y'all that. It's a pretty little gray and purple one. And it's time now to start wearing it. Now, she's not wore one all year. Because we've been 60s and 70s. And she had all that hair so now that we're getting colder if it snows and you shaved her <laughs> mama you, mama said i shaved her she shaved her and she's not got any i done just what the groomer does she didn't use a guard or anything she just used the clip and that's what i done she still got a little bit of hair mighty little but anyway she she likes it she has ran mama has she not ran her since i groomed her yeah she has pressed around this house she, can she has see again. she can see <laughs> it just give her all kinds of energy she's she's just acting so good and um after she tried to bite me about 12 times she's acting good we've talked about it and we've made up i don't <laughs> hold a grudge against her because she don't like it so she I you, though. She turned her back to you and wouldn't look at you. She did do that. She turned her back to me, laid her ears back, and sat with her head like this. Like, I will not speak to you. <laughs> She's was... almost human. We love her to death. But she did try to buy me, didn't she, Mama? Oh, yeah. Mama, so... Mama don't go to the groomer. Mama don't know. And I said, Mama, you're, this, dog is, this dog is mean. And she's that little sweet angel ain't mean. I said, Mama... She is nothing like this at the groomer. Well, Mama got just a little shot at it. One time. This time. Yeah, she's mean. And she said, she's mean. I said, yeah, I told you she's mean. But she's she's adorable. She's sweet. So that was Maggie's day on New Year's Eve. She started this new year off beautiful. She had herself all groomed up, manicured up. She was pretty. Still is. Upset more. But it wasn't her day, you know. That was not her ideal thing. And let me tell you how she feels about a bath. She absolutely hates it. But once she has one, it gives her all this energy. And she's so excited. And she runs. And she wants... Oh, she's just a, a new dog. And she's out there barking. Now you sing. We just let her out. And she's going to go out there and bark. That's I think she heard something. She's very spoiled. If a cat goes to the yard, if a dog goes to the yard, she has to go out there and talk to him. And tell him this is her domain. But anyway, back to the dressing. So I, I apologize that I didn't tell y'all uh, the other night. Because after it was always said, what happened to Maggie? I thought, oh, I did tell him I was going to tell him that. Uh, and some of y'all probably had asked before I even signed off. but And I tried to read the comments as we go. But sometimes I miss them. But anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and put the carrots in here first. Because I want to get them out of my... Um, chopper because I don't want them to be mushy mushy and I still want a little carrot crunch so I'll go ahead and put them in here y'all know this is my favorite Tupperware thing that we sell or the, the Tupperware sales uh, is this chopper we use it all the time um, I hardly ever cook that I don't use it every once in a while but most of the time there's some call for the chopper and we absolutely love it so for you new people Mama does sell Tupperware, and you'll see her link. I can put it on here anytime. And uh, I guess I sell Tupperware, too, because I love it as good as she does. But uh, she's the Tupperware lady. And uh, did I cut that? That's, that's hard right there. But um, this is one of the things that I just absolutely love is this chopper. Now, this is the new version. They had the clear one, and I still use my clear one. I really can't tell a whole lot of difference other than the color. They do say they've done something to the blade that angled it or turned it just a touch. But it's still sharp. And, you know, I, I cut myself. And I'm fine now. Look, I healed nicely. Um, but they did do something to the blade to tilt it a little bit more. And they changed this little housing here. And they made this. There's no hole in the top. So when you put your stuff in, it don't go down in there. But other than that, I mean, the functionality of it is the same. But I can it. it still pulls. It's still good. <laughs> You're just trying. <laughs> oh, mama. And uh, 
I overcrank. Mama tells me all the time you you overcrank. Do y'all like really fine slaw? Yeah, I have to say I do. Mama says I didn't. I got used to it. <laughs> Just don't overcrank. He loves to pull the. Rope. I don't know why it is. It's just like a, you know. It's like the old time he talks. You pull and stand. I know. It's just like I just I start pulling. Like in. a toy. You can over pull like three. Well, here's the thing. Every pull is twelve chops of a knife, so I over pull. But anyway, this ain't a Tupperware showing. This is just cooking. I just turned it into one because I just started talking. But anyway. See, that's pretty fine, but it's not too fine. I mean, that, I, that's just good slaw. Uh, and sometimes I like slaw coarsely cut with a vinegar uh, dressing on it. So it's just different things. My, I'm going to go ahead and make all this, especially since we've got three heads of cabbage in there for some reason. We'll eat cabbage. We can eat slaw tomorrow. We can eat slaw for a couple of days. And after a while, it gets coarse and gets a little, you know, strong. But if you don't put that core in there, or, you know, and it, it, that'll keep it from getting bitter. How many of y'all going to be eating salads this week? How many of y'all going to, you know, try to start eating better, try to start eating them salads, uh, those kind of things, for the new year? I heard a car door then, Mama. I believe it's me with Mama says it was her. But anyway... We're not going to do any different this week than we have in the past three weeks because we started early on trying to just, you know, cut out a lot of sugar and uh, try to eat a little healthier. I am going to get some salmon uh, and put do the baked salmon because that's what Mama's doctor said was a wonderful meal. And I know that. You know that. So I'm going to get us some salmon, start doing some baked salmon, do some... Um, different um, salads that are interesting and good. You can do all kinds of good salads um, that, look at that one whole piece, just survived. How did it survive? It laid right there on top because I had all that in there, but look at the rest of it. It's chopped up good. Okay. Boy, you're going to have to eat a lot of coleslaw. Oh, mama. Actually, it's just one big salad with a little bit of dressing. It's all coleslaw is cabbage salad but anyway that's what we're up to today um, mom put the fish in there so we wouldn't have to hold you all on here all day um, and it's just frozen it's not there's no recipe to it um, I was lazy I didn't want to fool with a lot today mama didn't want to fool with a lot and I don't blame you mama you want me to say the rest of that yeah, I don't think there's no need. Don't think there's no need. I never did tilt y'all down. I started talking. I started reading. But there you go. That's the, the slow. Let's see what y'all are up to. What are y'all eating today? And have you started on your new plan today? He's I making cold slaw. What does my ask? I'm, a sh I'm, I'm in a sugar coma. Phyllis, we are too. We've had granny fudge, chocolate fudge. Uh, fruit cake. Fruit cake. It's okay. just been... I said cream cake. We didn't make that, so don't be looking for that. Uh, my aunt made that. Um, you know, and here's another thing. I know you're not going to believe it. And some of y'all will laugh. Go ahead. After all that heavy food, I'm kind of in the mood to eat a little healthier. My body's like, how about some vegetables? How about some salad? How about let's have some more water? Uh, and I'm not, I have fallen off the water wagon. My days have consisted of coffee, Russian tea, Mama's sweet tea. Oh, I didn't put sugar in this slice. Well, it's not talking. sweet anymore. But I, I like it, just tea. I like black tea, no sugar, just good fresh tea. I love the flavor of tea. And that's all I want is just that flavor of that tea. Now, if you've seen that dressing I had in here, this is going to get, it'll get more moisture in it. This cabbage will put off quite a bit of water. But it will get more moisture in it. And you can put a little milk in it. If you uh, find that it's too dry and you want to add a little something, you put a little bit more mayonnaise, stir in it. And you can put a little bit of milk. Um, and it's good too. But as I stir this up, you can see it's all good. and It has dressing on all of it. And it's really good. 
Well, there's our slaw for our fish. That's the only homemade thing we're having today. <laughs> lazy, lazy. Mama says it's lazy, but let me tell you folks something. If you work and you're out and you're about it and you've got a household to keep up, you can't always have that meal that's all from scratch, all perfect, all, it just don't work out. Sometimes, it's perfectly fine, folks. Don't, I hear people say sometimes, I feel bad, all we had was frozen pizza. Every once in a while, frozen pizza's fine. Don't feel bad about that. Uh, and if you fix a meal and you, you want something in it, say you have the... Um, a hash brown casserole you bought it was frozen say you have frozen lasagna and you make a good home salad with it and uh, with some homemade dressing and you have a frozen lasagna don't beat yourself up over that ain't nothing wrong with that we are busy we are stressed you know when i'm talking to people out and about and the number one thing they say is time is just flying and i've been so busy I've been so busy, and we are just making ourselves busy in a lot of situations. We take on too much stuff. We demand too much perfection. I know. And sometimes it's fine to have a frozen dinner. Sometimes it's fine to pick up something even through a drive through You know, we need to try to do healthier and all that, but don't beat yourself up over it. And if you have a semi-homemade meal, Go for that. That's good. There ain't nothing wrong with that. There once, Mama used to be the world's worst. Um, my dad, when he retired, he was retired. How long was Dad retired for? He got kind of sick, but eight years or nine. Yes. And Mama was still working, so Dad would be home and uh, he'd run around and do whatever. And Mama thought she still needed to come home and fix a hot meal and have everything just so so and homemade. And I said, Mama. You don't have to do that. You can take a break. You can get some uh, a frozen dinner every once in a while. We can have sandwiches every once in a while. Those things are fine. And so she kind of gradually and slowly decided, okay, we could do that every once in a while. And uh, we still have plenty of good home-cooked food, but sometimes, ladies, gentlemen, take a break. Remember, we said 22 is about you. Renew yourself. Renew in 22, renew you. Um, let's get back to some of the basics. Let's play board games with the family. Let's get the Phase 10 cards out. Mama used to play, go play Phase 10 every week with her friends. Let's, go, let's start doing some stuff like that as a family and quit worrying and stressing so much. And here's another thing. Let's try to quit dreading Mondays. You know, Mondays happen every week. Um, in fact, Mondays aren't my hard day where I work. Uh, it seems like Fridays are harder than Mondays because I'm trying to wrap it up, get everything done for the weekend, and those kind of things come along. But let's just try to enjoy every day. Take every day, one day at a time, and enjoy it. Um, because life is short, and we might as well enjoy it and take a break. So let's make 22 all about you. 22 is a time about you. Take care of yourself and enjoy the life a little bit more. Let's get together, love a little bit more, enjoy a little bit more. Mama says uh, lunch is ready, and she's going to bring out our one pan wonder. I've got the coleslaw made. I've got my good hot coffee. Now that I made homemade, and that was just come off the stove. So I had a pot this morning. I didn't have a whole pot this morning. Uh, and as Mama pointed out last week and called me out right in front of all my friends and embarrassed me, I did drink a little coffee at church, too. So I ain't going to count how many cups I've had today. Mama might correct me. Oh, no, I wouldn't do that for the world. <laughs> I totally forgot last week. Yeah, I did have coffee at church. So I've had about maybe three cups you this got morning. A spatula over there and hand I do, Mama. I've got everything we need right here. Come over here and sit down. We'll bless it and we'll be ready to eat. Um, there's your Thank napkin, you. Mama. Um, but I did did have a couple of cups this morning. But I got up early. I sat here. I done my devotion. I done my um, studying. Then I done Sunday school about nine thirty. We went to church, and I did have two or three cups of coffee. Then when I get to church, you know, just being sociable, I had to have a cup there too. I love it. But anyway, uh, Mama, you gonna drink water? 
I think I'll take a little water too, Mama. Just get the picture out. Mm -hmm. We did start this. Y'all remember when we started this water business? A couple of months ago? No, this is before you we went to the doctor, Mama. Yeah. We was trying to do better. So we just keep our little pitcher of water here in the refrigerator. And yeah, this is Tupperware too. But let me tell you folks, I had tried water in the refrigerator on other accounts. And I put it in pitchers and put it... I do real well with this right here because when I open the refrigerator and I see that water, it just looks good. And I think, hmm, and it's not very big and it don't take up very much room. It's about two quarts. So it works out fine. And it's encouraged Mama even to drink water. I caught her the other day. This is a true story. I taught her the other day. I come through here and she had this pitcher out. And it wasn't supper time. And she was pouring a glass of water. And I said, what's wrong, Mama? You sick? Why? I said, you're pouring water. And she said, I just wanted some water. I said, Mama, you don't drink water. You drink pop and Sprite. And a little bit of coffee and a, and a little bit of tea. And she said, well, I opened the refrigerator and it looks so good. I want some water. So it does encourage you to have some water. We try to do water with our meals. That's one of the changes we've made. But uh, keep you some water handy if you have to. You know, I don't find if I put it in something that I can't see through, it's as tempting. Put it in a quart jar. Put it in two quart jars. Uh, it's glass, it's clear, it's pretty, and it's good. It's good. So here's our meal. Look here, Mama's serving tonight. There it was. A little bit of tater tots, a few hush puppies, and some fish. Look at that. And I'm sure it's going to be good and it's going to nourish our bodies. And it wasn't much clean up. That lemon full can be thrown away. And this uh, coleslaw, I'm just going to put a lid on it. Put a lid on it and put it in the refrigerator. I about dropped y'all. Let's see what y'all are saying. Um, it says, oh, warm water is better for your stomach, Linda. Um, Linda, my great uh, uncle used to drink warm water all the time for breakfast. He would drink, just like you would fix boiling water for tea, he would fix boiling water, pour it in a coffee cup, and drink it for breakfast, just hot water. I, that's all he would drink. That's all he would drink was hot water. So I'm sure that would be good. Uh, are you talking about, he drank hot water. You're just talking about room temperature water, not in the refrigerator. I guess is what you're saying, because I've heard that too. Uh, fried Three Rivers cornbread in instant uh, pot beans. Ooh. A perfect meal for today. I also, I'm, what'd you say, Donna? You've, Donna, you, I gotta, I'm planning to make an egg rolls for supper. If not tonight, sometimes this week. Well, Donna is doing egg rolls and uh, pinto beans. I guess those pintos, wasn't it, Donna? And fried Three Rivers cornmeal. You know, we lost Three Rivers for a while, but now a lot of stores have it back. Uh, egg salad sandwiches sound good. Zella, I like egg salad sandwiches. <laughs> Mama makes the best. It's just wonderful. Warm water with lemon is real good for your digestion, John. Casey, that sounds good. Mama, are you ready to do some warm water? Yeah, I don't know about one. No, I think you're just on room temperature, right? You don't heat it, do you? I'm doing good to just to do the cold <laughs> water. Mama says she's doing good to do cold water, but water's better than something with sugar. I will give you that. Mm -hmm. So that's an improvement, Mama. Yeah, I'm trying to improve. We're doing better. We're not making any promises. We're not making any New Year's resolutions. You can have this, Mama. We're not making any New Year's resolutions. We're just simply saying we're doing a little better. And I'm sure we all are, too. All right, we're going to bless this, folks. And uh, then we're going to have our lunch. Do you have a homemade pimento cheese recipe? Teresa, we, Miss Teresa Lawson, Mama made it That's two weeks ago. Right before Christmas. So we do have one I already posted on here. Um, Mama's Homemade Pimento Cheese. You can Anything y'all want to search, go to the top of your um, Facebook up there in the search and just type in Pimento Cheese Coffee Time. And it should bring up the videos. When I search, that's how I search. Pimento Cheese Coffee Time. And that way... When I, it brings it up, it'll bring up that video, and you can see. And it, if you go to our page, Coffee Time with John and Mama, a lot of the 
recipes are on the top of the video in the description or in the first comment. Donna uh, types those up for us. She's really good about that. She has a app, something she uses, and they're always perfect. So it's on there like that, or you can type in whatever you want at the top, like Mama's Homemade Biscuits or just Homemade Biscuits Coffee Time. And if Coffee Time's got a video without any of those words in it, it'll bring it up. So if you're looking for recipes, that's a good way to do it. Okay. Light snow and sleet in Memphis, Tennessee, Lynn. It's Lynn, coming our way. Lynn, usually you all get about three or four hours before we do. Uh, so when we hear Memphis has got it, we're getting it in about three or four hours. I have a one of my best friends live in, lives in Nashville. And I'll be talking and, and she'll say, this is the weather here. And I'm like, ugh, that'll be our weather tomorrow. Y'all hear Maggie doing the circle. Fresh celery usually last around two months in the freezer. Uh, Blanche celery may last 12 to 18 months in the freezer. Did it never have frozen celery? That would be great. Uh, steak, baked potatoes, and corn today. Oh, my. Chrissy, that sounds good. Do you make hummingbird cake? Wendy, we have not. Have you ever made a hummingbird cake? No, I've got a recipe for it, though. She's got a recipe for it. We just always hate to kill that many little hummingbirds. <laughs> That's a joke. Don't take that serious. <laughs> Don't take that serious. There are no hummingbirds in a hummingbird cake. I do know what you're talking about, Wendy. And I do like hummingbird cake, but I've never made a hummingbird There's cake. There's no hummingbirds. It's 37 in Texas. Ugh, you all were warm the other day, too, weren't you? Yeah, they were. It says, I'm making fried cabbage and black-eyed peas and ham hocks today. She was sick yesterday. Susan... I hope you're better today. Yeah. We had that yesterday, and it was good. We had um, hog jowl. Just yeah. a little bit of it. Uh, Maggie liked the hog jowl. We gave her a piece or two. Don't give dogs much like that, but she it just seemed like for New Year's uh, that we needed it for. She needed some good luck. After, after the New Year's Eve grooming experience... She deserved a treat. She deserved a lot of it. She loves her pepperonis. And you all sent her some. Some of y'all sent her some for Christmas. And she says, thank you, thank you, thank you. She loves them. And I'll say, Maggie, you want one of your treats that your friends give you? And she'll say, oh, that tail goes wild. And she goes wild. She loves them. Let's pray, Mama. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this meal. We thank you for uh, the nourishment of our body. Dear Lord, we just pray that you'll be with us throughout the coming days, weeks, months, and years this year, dear Lord. And just pray that you'll be with each and every person that's turning to prayer requests and she'll bless them according to your will and your glory in your name. We pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Mama. This semi homemade. I got to have ketchup on some of this stuff. Semi homemade. Well, there ain't nothing semi about none of this except for the coleslaw. In this coffee. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> good, good for you, Aunt Mama. People, we got mail to go over, and we will come. We may come back later on in a, when we get through with lunch here and do a quick live on the mail. But uh, y'all outdone yourself. Some of y'all sent some wonderful things. And. Um, We've gotten them. There may be some at the post office, but thank you so much for the mail. Y'all have just really gone above and beyond the call of duty for Christmas. Uh, someone sent, was it three blankets? Mama, oh, the, yes. Mama's just, she's shown everybody those blankets, and she loves them. Everybody who came in the door for Christmas got to see those blankets, and they're all Charlie Brown themed, and they're just wonderful. Uh, we're going we're gonna to show you all, and uh, we got some more ornaments. If you, we still have our tree up, the friends tree. We still have the Tupperware tree. It's still uh, lit over there in the corner. That's the friends tree, still lit. If you've seen anything, it's on the friends tree. Uh, if you, um, if you want to send an ornament, we'll be putting it on the friends tree. It's. One of Mama's favorite trees. She yeah. shows everybody her trees. And they also have beautiful and what talent. They brag on y'all all the time. Who made that? Mama said. She's trying to put the names on a lot of them. And that's a new thing we're going to start doing is put names on everything so we'll know exactly. And uh, just such talent. Such wonderful talent. So um, we thank you. And uh, 
we will come back. We've not forgot about the mail, and we will come back and share the mail with you. If not today, probably tomorrow evening. Not tomorrow. Mama says, I may take a nap after this fish. So, if we don't go tomorrow, we'll do it tomorrow evening. How's that sound, Mama? That sounds good. And uh, I guess that's it, folks. Yeah. We're going to say goodbye, and you all have a wonderful Sunday, whatever the weather is, wherever you are. I just hope you stay safe. And I know there were some more storms in um, Kentucky, and we had a little thunder yesterday. Do you all have any thunder? We had a roar of thunder. Uh, but uh, anyway, you all, find you something good to eat, make you some memories. Enjoy the day, enjoy this new year, yes. and enjoy you. So uh, say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mom, and God bless you and all. God bless y'all. And thank you for joining us today, and thank you for the whole weekend. We've had a great time. Bye. Bye-bye.